Hi there. In, in the previous video, I showed you um, in QGIS how to add an image or a link to a website uh, by using the map tips. Um, I'm just going to show you another way to bring up a photo or an image uh, from a feature by clicking on a feature. Um, but I'm actually going to bring in the action, the create action um, uh, capability function. So I'm going to create an action specifically for this theatre's layer so that when I click on it, it brings up a photo. So how do you do this? Um, well, we go into the layer and if you look on here, you'll see down the left hand side, there's source and symbology and stuff. And down here is actions of which there are none at the moment. Um, you could dive straight in and click on the create default actions and see a whole list of examples about how to do stuff, which is really good. Um, but I, I will go back a step and just remove those and you can play with those to your heart's content once I show you the basics of how an action works. So what, I'm gonna, what I want to do is create a new action. So I click on the plus button. And what do I want this action to do? I want it to open something. So really you're saying to Windows, open this. So any default settings will be taken in consideration such as an image. It probably opens Microsoft Photos by default or Paint.net or GIMP, whatever you've got set as default tool. So I'm just going to open something and the description is show my photos from holiday. I'm going to confuse everyone now because my last holiday abroad was actually in Hungary in Budapest, a uh, fantastic city, um, but we're going to be clicking on dots in Austria. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, and we'll call this show photo. So that's the actual sort of short name that will appear. Um, I can add an icon to represent this, so a nice sort of pretty picture of a camera or something appears, but I'm not too um, bothered about that. And what I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to be available on the layer and the whole canvas and indeed on a, on a feature. Um, what I'll do is I'll uncheck feature for the moment and show you, um, so you can clearly see what, what that does. So what, what do you put in here? Well, I've already got a table, um, if we, uh, of um, a, a photo directory, an image name. So if I click on this down button here, I can see my photo. So I select my photo and just do insert because I'm only going to be using the default Windows application. Let's just press OK and then you'll see this pop up here for a moment and press OK. So if I just go to the attributes table and look at the data, you'll see how I've got my photo. You can see I've got in the temp folder this list of photos and you can arrange that how you, how you wish. Note how actions is actually blank there. So I've set my action and when I click on this down button up here, you see show photo? If I'd chosen an icon, some pretty icon, it will appear next to it. So I'll click show photo and then I'll click on the green triangle and up pops a photo actually, like I said, of Budapest, um, which is my last holiday. Uh, if I click on that one, it will bring up a different one. So you see how, let's close that. And if I click on, I don't know, one down there, they're, they're all unique and, it, and I think you get the drift. Um, you know, as, as I um, click on them, I'll get different photos popping up. I've actually got two monitors, that's why it's come up on the other one. So the, these pop up, which is which is great. So, but notice how when I was in the attributes table, the actual actions here is blank. See how it's it's actually not there. So you turn that on by turning back, uh, turn turning back on this feature. So I want to appear in the features list actually when you, when you see them all that appear. Press OK, press OK. So now when I go into the attribute table you'll see it has the button, effectively an action button, show the photo, show the photo, show the photo. So I click on that one, and there you go. And click on that one, and there you go. So you can see how I can just fly, and I'm only using these because they're copyright free because I took them. <laughs> um, so you can see how it's very easily um, bringing up the photos. So that's another way of bringing up the photos rather than a map tip and getting them to hover and appear like I did in the last videos. Here you can have an action and, and go for it. Now, I'll just end on just 
explaining how you know you can have lots and lots of actions here so I could hit hit the plus sign again and you know run some um, Python script for example and, and put some code in or I could uh, do an, do another open perhaps it opens a word document or a PowerPoint slide but you can add add lots in in fact I could I could create I could click on create default actions and it actually adds it to my see my show photo one is still there so when I press OK you'll see how it's got the ones that just got added plus show photo you know again you could have a little icon for each one but show photo is still there so that's a quick look at uh, actions list I, I hope you like it it's quite a powerful little tool to customize make little macros and um, and, and also as you saw uh, bring up your photos uh, or indeed other any other video uh, video uh, uh, you know video um, media or image media um, you, you know anything like that 3d uh, image anything um, that, that's within your Windows default uh, sort of viewers that you've got um, uh, set as default on your system I hope that helps